Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi, guys, and welcome to One Minute Tennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about the forehand and why so many players have a problem on the forehand where it becomes floaty. It might be consistent, but it's got way too much spin, almost like a semi log when the pressure's really on. I want to show you why this problem occurs and a really simple solution that will stop you sending defensive and slow forehands on the big points ever again. Now, to understand why this floating ball occurs, we have to understand the relationship between the elbow and the racket. So if I show you from this direction, we go into our normal unit turn, and then when we're relaxed and loose and free, then the elbow leads first, and then the racket follows. So see, I have my unit turn, and then elbow first, and racket follows, see? And then round about where the elbow is level with the hip, the racket overtakes. So elbow first, and then racket, and then swing. But you only need a little bit of tension, a little bit of stress in the arm, too tight a grip, and what happens then is that the racket and the elbow move together as one. Look at the difference between the elbow leading and the racket following and the elbow and racket moving together. Elbow leads, racket and elbow together. When the racket and elbow are together, the only thing that can happen in the stroke is heavy topspin and a floated, inefficient and super safe ball. It's often easy for the opponent to attack. This happens at a really high level sometimes. In junior tennis, you often get these endless rallies of super slow, super high topspin forehands. And yet these are players who five minutes earlier were hitting the forehand with great power and authority. Too much stress, too much tension, and the racket is moving with the elbow instead of the elbow going first. Now to correct this is pretty easy as long as you don't think about the racket. Because if I think about not letting the racket go too late, then I'm thinking very negatively. And the human brain is not designed to think negatively. The human brain is designed to think around positives, about things to do. So don't think about not letting the racket drop behind. Think about driving the elbow through the stroke. Don't worry, around about hip level, then the racket will overtake it. So into position, elbow through and hit. See, into position, elbow through and hit. If you concentrate on making sure that your elbow is leading through the stroke, then the racket will follow and you will lose this tendency to send the ball high into the air with too much ineffective topspin. It's a really simple concept, but it works. I hope this makes sense. I'd love to know how it works in your game or the players that you work with. You know I love your feedback. I try to reply to every single comment. And maybe I can help you more with your game. We do online one-to-one -one individual coaching. It's a unique service with a blend of video analysis and personalized lessons such as this. For more information, have a look at the website or email us for details. So remember, to remove this high floaty defensive ball from your game forever, make sure that you're driving the elbow through and you will have a more aggressive, cleaner and better forehand today. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.